Hello and welcome to another video. Now in the past I have talked about physical health, exercising, big fan of exercise as you know, I've talked about nutrition and diet such as the alkaline diet, eating lots more raw food, talk a lot about supplements. I've only ever briefly, briefly spoken about psychological health and mental hygiene. Now I've often mentioned, and it's in my emails, a book called Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell, Maxwell Maltz. Very, very good book. Everybody should read this book. However, I think there's something that is perhaps even more practical, even more useful, and much more applicable to just about everybody. And that is how to understand human behaviour, how to help understand why you might be addicted to something, why you might be refusing to do something that you know is good for you, like why do you never exercise yet other people always find time to exercise no matter how busy they are. Why do some people manage to give up smoking just like that and other people just can't do it. All, it's, it all comes down to your needs and how you fulfill them. Now Tony Robbins is the guy who coined human need psychology. Tony Robbins is quite literally a giant. He's six foot seven, six foot eight, and he was also a master of something called NLP or neuro linguistic programming. But he fused this with a lot of other concepts. He fused this with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, he fused it with Ericksonian hypnosis, Gestalt therapy, and something called logo therapy. Now, logo therapy is all about trying to find the meaning in the moment. Of your life and it's yeah it's a guy called Viktor Frankl that's F-R-A-N-K-L and the main book that you should read by Viktor Frankl it's very short very very powerful book about his experiences in a Nazi concentration and extermination camp during World War II it's called Man's Search for Meaning I would suggest everybody goes out and buys this book immediately or gets it on their Kindle, uh, it really does help you understand how people can survive in the most dire circumstances and find meaning out of such small things that usually people would ignore. So anyway, Tony Robbins fused all these things together and it allowed him to do things like cure people of their addictions you know, in minutes rather than days and weeks and hours and to help also do some incredible things such as a lady who had multiple personality disorder she was one of the first people ever diagnosed with it she had I think, 52 split personalities and she'd seen all the psychologists I think she became famous for being you know so split and an hour to two hours with Tony Robbins and he had managed to find out what was actually going on inside there and take to all 52 personalities, compress them all back to the one personality and she never split again. Powerful stuff. He manages to find out why people might want to commit suicide and change them into a success story. He can find, help find out using human needs why you might be addicted to something and help you break the addiction. So, human needs. Human need psychology. There are six basic human needs, psychologically speaking, and I will list those all for you in just a moment. But what I will do over the next few videos, whether I manage to do them all today or whether they get done in the next few weeks over the new year to help you keep and make some great resolutions, I don't know, but it will, they'll be coming. What I'm going to do is talk to you about each of the specific ones in depth so you can help analyse yourself and help even help other people. So what are the six human needs? They are certainty, uncertainty or variety, significance or uniqueness, love and connection, growth and finally number six, contribution. So there we have it, there we have the six. Start thinking about that. Go and buy the book by Viktor Frankl. It will really, really help you understand how powerful understanding human needs can really be. In fact, that can be your homework. Go and get it for Christmas or the festive season. Um, and I'll speak to you in the next video all about certainty and uncertainty. Bye for now.